Coming up on today's news episode, Bulldozer returning, yes I'm not joking this time, Trantina bringing back old names and Monster Jam in London with the possibility of more countries. All of this is coming up, but first it's time for the good and the not so good from last weekend's action. The good, Stadium Tour Red continues to impress. Stadium Tour Red returned last weekend to Seattle, Washington for the first time since 2019. Like 2019, Seattle 2022 did not disappoint. Racing and skills were the usual, although Tom Men seems to be attempting slap walks as part of his skills run, and this is a very welcome change in my eyes. But man oh man, freestyle in Seattle was off the hook. Freestyle saw drivers absolutely send their trucks into the stratosphere. Adam Anderson's save I think was overlooked. It was a really awesome moment. And how about Cole Bernard winning freestyle and showing why he is a menace? Points, while not changing, is definitely heating up. This weekend, the tour will be headed to Indianapolis, Indiana for Monster Jam in Lucas Oil Stadium. Central Tour heating up. Arena Series Central continues to heat up each week. The points, while not changing a whole lot, has in fact changed. Kristen Anderson continues to lead on her tour by increasing her lead over the other competitors, while Ox and Ranger still secure second and third place. However, after missing Toledo, Linus has reclaimed the fourth spot on the tour and overtakes John Zimmer Jr. Now, this week there's nothing in the not so good, so with that being said, let's jump straight into the news, our first story. Up first, is Bulldozer returning? Now, I know April Fools has already been and gone, but this story is completely true. Mike Harper has purchased the naming rights to one of the most well-liked and famous monster trucks, that being Bulldozer. This was discovered by searching on the United States Patent and Trademark Office website, which shows that Bulldozer is a live trademark and is to be used on monster trucks. Harper has not officially announced the truck returning to competition, or the fact that he'd even purchased the naming rights to it, as it is probably still early in development. When it is announced, Monster Talk will provide details on it. Trantina restoring old names. Last news video we reported on Exterminator and Wolf's Head being sold to Trantina. The names were thought to be owned by Amale Oil, which were a sponsor for the trucks, which now do not sponsor them anymore. Because of this and Trantina's love for retro trucks, trucks will now undergo a name change to two iconic names. Phil Vicananza posted this on Facebook. Two more old school names will be returning as Triple B Motorsports confirms they will be running the former Exterminator and Wolfshead trucks as Boss Gator and Lone Wolf. Upcoming events for the team will also feature the driving debuts of rock crawler Casey Schroeder and veteran crew chief Mike Rowley. For those who are unaware, Boss Gator and Lone Wolf were two former trucks that ran in the 90s. I think this is a great way to utilize these new trucks, rather than trying to use the previous names and potentially run into legal troubles, or coming up with cringy names, they instead brought back old names on new and familiar bodies. The team will be debuting these new trucks along with others like Wild Thing, Carolina Crusher, Rampage and others very soon in the coming months. You've got to wonder though, what is next for Trantina? Will he buy more trucks and restore old and forgotten names or will he settle with what he has? He's probably going to buy more old names, but that's, that's besides the point. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And finally, Monster Jam returns to London. It was a pleasant surprise to see Monster Jam announce that they will be headed to London, United Kingdom on 18th June and for the first time ever, will be headed to London Stadium. The lineup has also been announced, which is as follows. Grave Digger, driven by Randy Brown, Max D, driven by Tom Mentz, El Toro Loco, driven by Armando Castro, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, which is driven by Brianna Mahan, Blue Thunder, driven by Todd LaDuke, 
Scooby Doo, driven by Miranda Kozad, Megalodon, driven by Tristan England, and Earthshaker, driven by Peter Nyman. Some important things to take away from this are Randy Brown driving Gravedigger once again, Brianna is driving Dalmatian? Okay, and Tristan England is back in Megalodon. And Peter Nyman will be returning to drive Earthshaker on the Thor chassis. And what's most interesting is the fact that Monster Jam seems to be returning to doing overseas shows. They've restored old international websites, Australia, Germany, Finland, etc. And with the announcement of London, I'm absolutely positive the websites that have been restored will be announced at some point down the road. If they are coming back to Australia, I am gonna lose it. I'd be so happy if they did. It has been too long since I've seen Monster Jam live. So, guys, you can come back. That would be great. Anyway, tickets for the show are on sale right now. It can be purchased on Monster Jam's UK website at monsterjam.co.uk. What do you think of Monster Jam in London? Do you think they will announce more overseas shows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.